सो इस कृष्णाज लाव अनकंडीशनल और कंडीशनल सो इज इट अनकंडीशनल और इज इट कंडीशनल वॉट डू यू थिंक अनकंडीशनल कंडीशनल टू आर सरेंडर बोथ बोथ इज द सेफेस्ट आंसर इन वे बट एक्चुअली इट्स नॉट दैट सिंपल सो आई टॉक अबाउट थ्री पॉइंट्स अबाउट दिस अबाउट कृष्णाज लाव एंड आई यूज इज एन एक्रॉनिम दास दैट दिस इज होपफुली दिस कैन इंस्पायर अस टू सी दैट टू बिकम अ बेटर सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्णा टू बेटर दास एंड सी दैट दिस सर्विस इज नॉट आउट ऑफ फोर्स और फियर दैट इज अर सर्विस आउट ऑफ लव ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू डोंट बिकम दास देन वी रिमेन दैट इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ दास दोज रिफ्यूज टू सर कृष्णा दे रिमेन टॉर्मेंटेड बाय देर माइंड एंड सेंसेस दैट इज मनाशा इंद्रियाणी प्रकृति स्थानी करशती सो करशती दैट कीप्स अस अनफॉर्चुनेटली सैड so hopefully we can take this journey we all are sad because of various things but we can try to become a better servant of krishna and find fulfillment therein so i'll talk about krishna's love first of all krishna's love is unconditional it's unconditional in the sense that krishna loves us or rather krishna's you can put it krishna's love for us it is based on who he is not who we are it is it is he who is the all loving parent he is the all loving lord and because of that his love is based on who he is it is just like a parent cares for all their children even children who are disobedient or disruptive so krishna's love is based on who he is and that is why is suhrudam sarvabhutanam so in this sense we could say it is unconditional at the same time love is not a one way street if their love has to be meaningful there has to be some reciprocation without reciprocation love doesn't really have much meaning it is unrequited love and it is unfulfilling so while krishna's love is unconditional but there are some more things that are there love can be one way in this one in one sense one person can love the other person without the other person reciprocating but then that is not the basis for a loving relationship so it is incomplete we could say love has to be two way it has to be reciprocal so that's where the points come in once prabhupada was asked this question do you love all your disciples equally and prabhupada said yes but then he also added but if somebody comes forward to take responsibility i reciprocate so here that brings us to the first point of d krishna's love krishna loves everyone however there is a difference of degree how people respond to him how people reciprocate with him there is a degree over there but the important point is degree not category see we may differentiate this is a devotee and this is a non devotee from krishna's perspective every soul is ultimately his devotee so for krishna there is no rigid differentiation between devotee and non devotee how is how is the differentiation going to be basically if somebody mahaprabhu gives multiple definitions of who is a devotee so one who is even once chanted the names of god is a devotee one who regularly chants the name of gods then is a second time use the definition third time he says one who is constantly immersed in remembrance of krishna that is god devotee so we could say even with respect to devotee it's not one definition but for a devotee definition we could have multiple definitions it's not just one definition